every coastal state must expectedly deal with shipping and the various activities associated with seaborne trade. Now, for Nigeria, the executive leg for administering these responsibilities is the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA. And what are these responsibilities, you might ask? Well, they include overseeing national shipping, boating issues, and of course, to enforce the regulatory laws within our territorial waters. Hello and welcome to yet another educative episode of NIMASA This Week, The Voice of Maritime, brought to you, of course, by NIMASA. My name is Ubong Isien, and it's my pleasure to guide you on this voyage. You are watching Nimasa this week. Nimasa this week. Nimasa this week. Nimasa this week. It's the voice of maritime. The voice of maritime. The voice of maritime. Please stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Nimasa this week. The voice of maritime. Showing on these stations. Welcome back. It's still Nimasa this week. The voice of maritime. And on today's episode, we begin on a note of congratulations to the Director General of NIMASA, Dr. Bashir Jamo, who recently joined the exclusive class of winners of the Zig Prize for Leadership, and in this case, the category for public service. It was all pomp and pageantry. You get to find out more about what went down during the award ceremony. Also on the program, we have the DG's Diary and our other regulars. So if you're ready, it's anchors away. Introducing the Nemasa Distress Response Call Lines for all maritime stakeholders, ship owners, seafarers, ship captains, whatever your challenge or distress in the Nigerian maritime domain, please call 0803 0685 167. 0708-0005-956-0700-0700-010. If you can't reach us on these lines, please call 0700-0700-020, 0700-0700-030. Also via VHF Radio Channel 16, call and the master will respond. A social media entrepreneur, Matt Mullenweg, once said, Technology is best when it brings people together. It was on this note, delegates from Nigeria Computer Society paid a courtesy visit to the Director General of Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, Dr. Bashuru Jamo, at the agency's headquarters in Lagos. The delegates who were led by their president, Professor Adeshino Shudia, noted that the individuals and organizations that adopt and promote IT in Nigeria are friends of the professional body. Professor Shodia, therefore, applauded the Director General of NIMASA for the technological deployment his administration has brought to the Maritime Agency. We have been monitoring the progress, the deployment of IT, the deployment of technology in NIMASA, 
And uh, we are indeed very happy. We are highly delighted of the progress that we have seen. And that is why we are saying that uh, we have to come and meet the DG. We have to bring him very close to us. Uh, uh, there are leaders and there are leaders. And uh, your profile, your work in this place in the last, I think it's just over a year. I don't, I don't know, like, uh, uh, is it up to two years now? Even over a year, I think uh, we have seen tremendous development in the adoption, in the initiatives and innovative ideas that you have brought on board. So we are indeed very happy. Responding, the DG appreciates the professional body for recognizing the technological efforts he and his NEMASA team are putting in place. Dr. Jamo also spoke on the peculiarities of using technology in an organization. No organization today will strive and develop without IT. There is no that organization. So uh, it's a necessity. Uh, no matter what profession you are practicing, you need computer. And if you need computer, you must be married to the computer society. DG enlightened the professional body on the computer-based efforts which have brought global security success to the maritime sector. The CIPOI Center is our computer uh, communication and, and control command center. The CIPOI Center is, uh, as you know, is something that has to do with the uh, brain box of our blue, deep blue project. Dr. Jamo assured the professional body that he would encourage all member staff of NEMASA to be part of the professional body since they all use computers. The Nigeria Computer Society also sees the meeting to invite the NEMASA DG to the association's flagship event, National Information Technology and Merit Award, NEMITA, which is set to hold on November 18, 2021. As part of efforts to propagate the blue economy, the Director General of Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, Dr. Bashiru Jamo, has called for the maritime bilateral relationship between Nigeria and Portugal. Dr. Jamo, who earlier spoke as the keynote speaker at the third seminar of the Atlantic Center in Lisbon, Portugal, made this call during his courtesy visit to the Ambassador Extraordinary and plenipotentiary of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to Portugal, Alex Kefas. Ambassador Kefas said Portugal is the number one tourist country in Europe. While appreciating Dr. Jamo's visit, adding that they will be able to discuss how to adapt the template to help boost Nigeria's tourism. To expand their tentacles. So that's what they've been doing. And uh, I have met with the Minister of uh, Defense. So that meeting was. In fact, those who were here before me and our DA in France, that that was the best meeting so far. Interesting. The best meeting. Mm -hmm. So there, there are a lot of things that we can do with them. And uh, in, in terms of spare parts, compared to other infantries, they are cheaper here. Dr. Jamo, on his part, appreciated the ambassador and the embassy for the kind reception given to him and his team on their arrival. Dr. Jamo, while acknowledging the need to liaise with the ambassador on means to explore the economic benefit of the maritime sector, noted that there is a need to build a bilateral relationship between Nigeria and Portugal in the sector. Uh, we have been campaigning all over the country that it's high time now for us to plan alternative uh, means of uh, income, especially that the international community their hopes and doing to get a kind of uh, relief uh, by not uh, relying heavily on oil. Nigerian oil and any other countries that uh, use oil as their own mainstay of their own economy. Mm -hmm. Probably they will have to get an alternative. The solar, the electronic cars and other things like that, that's what they are doing now. Mm -hmm. So in so doing, we, we too also we have to plan. Then we have our own natural resources in and endowment in terms of maritime assets. So we have to see how we can devise a means to develop our own maritime asset through the blue economy, which is the main 
uh, passion now for every country. So we are working hard now. Internally, we are negotiating with the state governors to make sure that they buy into our own ideas mm -hmm. to see how we can uh, harness these resources, especially those neutral states. Uh, we have eight neutral states defined by the uh, Supreme Court of Nigeria. And uh, so far, we met with over six governors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have only two left so that they can buy in and key into the policy. We develop our own action plan. Mm -hmm. uh, we see what are going to be the deliverables, key performance indicators, and timelines for us to realize in, the, in harnessing this blue economy. So I think it will go a long way if we try to see or explore the countries like uh, Portugal to see what and what we can benefit, especially in terms of build, uh, shipbuilding, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, fleet expansion, mm -hmm and in terms of, uh, as you mentioned, spare parts and other things for repairs and maintenance of our own ships, mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, fishing trawlers uh, so that we can go back to the basics. In those days, uh, fishing used to be the second largest that provide incomes in the country before advent of oil. Mm -hmm. Now today, we, we don't have such things. So we have to work hard and make sure that we revive, we revive the uh, economic aspect of the maritime industry so that we can all benefit. Dr. Jamal, while giving a breakdown of his visit, explained the progress report of the Nigerian Maritime Security. According to the Nemasa boss, the International Maritime Bureau's second quarter reports showed that Nigeria recorded maritime security success, which has never been recorded in 27 years. Dr. Jamal, therefore, spoke about the third quarter report, which was recently released. Uh, between November and December last year, we used to record average of uh, six attacks in a week mm -hmm. and uh, given an average of one attack per day. So uh, from January uh, this year, uh, we started seeing a drastic reduction to the extent that from one attack in a day, we were recording one attack in a month. Oh, yeah. And uh, to, to a large extent, some months, even we don't have the attack at all. And uh, the kidnap or ransom also went down drastically. Like the last quarter, we only had one uh, case. So uh, I think this are the, this what informed the Minister of Defense in uh, Portugal to invite us to come and give a keynote address. Mm -hmm on what transpired and what we are doing, what we have been doing uh, to see the realization of these successes. Ambassador Kefes further hosted the DG in the boardroom of the Nigeria Embassy in Lisbon, Portugal. In the boardroom, Dr. Jamo educated everyone present on the relationship between NIMASA and the International Maritime Bureau. The Director General further explained other security issues that doubled the cost of Nigeria's war risk insurance. For so many decades, uh, the insecurity within the Gulf of Guinea becomes so pronounced to the extent that the international community declared uh, Nigeria and Gulf of Guinea as the most dangerous water to trade in. So this uh, make it very difficult for investment in terms of maritime uh, countries, <coughs> open countries. They decided not to be sending their own ships across the Gulf of Guinea region because of the insecurity. The issue of uh, insurance and the freight rates become so high because there are three types of insurance covers where you have to pay if you're applying Gulf of Guinea. One, you have to uh, pay special insurance cover for your ship mm -hmm. in the event if the ship is being attacked or hijacked. Mm -hmm. Then you have to insure the human element, which is the CPRs. Mm -hmm. In the event they kidnap your CPR. Uh, and then you have to uh, give a special cover insurance for the cargo in the event that is a theft or that is lost of that cargo. So, which they target in general, war risk insurance. Mm -hmm. So, uh, a, a cost from Nigeria to UK that is almost uh, double from UK to uh, United States, for example, you pay double than that if you, are, you have Nigerian bound cargo because you have to pay the war risk insurance. And uh, that is the next stage now we are getting to 
we are now trying to struggle and see how we can remove that because every Nigerian pays such mm -hmm. war risk insurance. After other maritime deliberations, group photos were taken to commemorate the visits. Light and glamour filled the atmosphere as notable men and women were recognized for their exemplary leadership roles in Nigeria. The dignitaries were honored with the prestigious Zik Leadership Prize in Public Policy for 2020. In September 2021, the Public Policy Research and Analysis Center formally announced the winners of the year 2020 Zik Prize in Leadership Awards. The extensive management of the restructuring, repositioning, and reformation of the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency by Dr. Bashiru-led administration was recognized and that earned him the prestigious award on the occasion. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Dr. Bashir Yusuf Jamo, co-winner of the year 2020 Zik Prize in Public Service leadership. Dr. Jamu was honored for his giant strides in repositioning the agency with initiatives that have inspired tremendous positive change in the nation's maritime sector. Zeke Prize in Leadership presented to Dr. Bashar Kwai Jamu for public service. Congratulations. The achievements that earned Dr. Jamo the Public Service Awards are as follows. As the Director General, he positioned the MASA as the sole agency for the promotion of the Blue Economy Agenda and midwife the production of Nigeria's National Blue Economy Strategic Documents to serve as a roadmap for the realization of the nation's Blue Economy Goals. He also established the Littoral State Corporation, LISCON, as a vehicle that galvanized all the governors of the eight littoral states into a signatory-based MOU working corporation based on comparative advantages to serve as the engines of blue growth in Nigeria. Dr. Jamo became the arrowhead for the full realization of the integrated national security and waterways protection infrastructure in Nigeria, also known as the Deep Blue Project, within his first 14 months as the Director General of NEMASA. As Director General of NEMASA, Dr. Bashiru Jamo midwived and birthed the new framework for tackling maritime insecurity in the Gulf of Guinea, known as GOG MCF Shade, with Nigeria and the Interregional Coordinating Center ICC in Yawunde as co chairs. His tenure has witnessed an all time highest decline in piracy and attacks in Nigerian waters, thus making the nation's maritime domain safer for shipping business, as accounted by the International Maritime Bureau third quarter report. In the area of capacity development, Dr. Jamo implemented the international sponsorship of over 200 cadets for professional education and training to become professional seafarers to deepen Nigeria's manpower pool. Dr. Jamo appreciated his team while listing the characteristics that earned him the award. Determination patience, endurance, and extra time. Then the second, your team. The team, they are very, very important. So I want to also thank my team, uh, which we captured it for a long time, Team Nimasa, for giving all the necessary support and the cooperations to ensure that we live above the board and uh, convince 
the selection committee to consider me worthy of winning this award. Families, well wishes from his home states, Kaduna, and of course his team from Nimasa, turned up en masse to celebrate the Director General for the prestigious award. The Secretary to Kaduna State Government, Balarabe Abbas Lawal, who represented Governor Nasheru El Rafai on the occasion, has this to say about the awardee. We cherish uh, Dr. Jamu as one of our uh, outstanding uh, 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 indigenous of Kaduna State. Um, so we came here to celebrate a great young man who has been doing quite a lot for the entire country. So we are very proud of him. He has come with a lot of vigor, a lot of uh, ideas that has been transforming the entire maritime sector in Nigeria. So we are definitely very, very proud of him. That's why we're here uh, to celebrate with him. Other well wishes at the event also showered praises and words of encouragement on Dr. Jamal. He has done so much. We just last week he flagged off the third phase of the NSDP program. Over 100 young Nigerians have been sponsored under his uh, watch to go and take up professional seafaring in Greece and uh, India. That is in the area of manpower development. So when you look at the totality of this within a period of two years, less than two years, he's done so much. So when I learned of this program to honor him, I know it is well deserved. Well, he needs to work harder. This is an invitation to him to work harder, to deliver more for Nimasa and for the government and people of Nigeria. So I wish him the best of luck. We congratulated Dr. Jamo on the award. It's well deserved. Uh, one thing going for Dr. Bashir Jamo is the passion for the maritime industry. He's been passionate uh, I know, and I know that will take him far. It's a well deserving uh, award for Dr. Jamo. He, he has been there uh, in public service. Um, he has been uh, quite uh, apt with uh, respect to staff welfare. He has been really supportive of the regional bodies. Uh, even in the just concluded uh, committee meeting, Abuja MOU committee meeting, he was well applauded for his support of uh, Abuja MOU. A man of honor, somebody that, uh, that deserves the award given to him. Bashir Jamo, as you know him, is a determined personality, he's an educated person. It is not mistaken, it is not by chance, it is deliberate that is being honored because he deserves it. He should continue the transformation that he's doing in the Massa. Leadership is about making a difference and an impact in an organization and in the lives of people that you are leading. And I can see that he's making a major difference in the Massa. He should continue in that path. I know him very energetic. And he deserves all what they have said there because I know him for quite a longer time, on more than 35 years. He has been an achiever and he will continue to deliver to achieve more and more. The awardees, the people that won the award, um, it's a big responsibility for them, but it's also a mark of uh, recognition. And uh, to be honest with you, I think they are all well deserved. Other awardees for the night include Governor Babajide Sawonlu of Lagos State, Governor Abdullahi Sule of Nasarawa State, President of African Development Bank, Akin Wumi Adeshino, Group Managing Director of Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation, Meli Kayari, amongst others.
Welcome back. It's still Neymasa this week, the voice of Maritime, and it is time to take you through the weekly column of the DG of Nimasa, the Maritime Mandate. And this week, the DG is still talking about maritime security. In the piece it titles The Imperative of a Multi Level Approach to Tackling Maritime Security. If you don't have a copy of the Guardian newspaper, you can get to read the full piece on the Guardian website as well as from the DG's website, BashirJamo.com. You can continue the conversation with the DG of Nimasa on Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, as well as on YouTube. Likewise, on all of our Nimasa official social media handles as displayed on your screen. Now, if you're doing business within Nigeria's maritime space, in other words, if you're into shipping, maritime labor, barge operations, maritime education, you name it. As long as what you're practicing has one nautical element or the other, your watchword must remain compliance, 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 because the maritime industry is heavily regulated. And the Massa bears foremost an absolute responsibility for the administration of the rules as it relates to playing the game within our territorial waters. And your first port of call must remain the Nimasa official website as currently displayed on your screen. Thank you for watching today's episode of Nimasa This Week, the voice of maritime. And we hope that you found some useful information to guide you in your quest to know more about the Nigerian maritime space. Remember that drop by drop, the ocean is made. And day by day, knowledge is gained. Be an ocean. Till I see you next time, my name is Ubangisen and I'm asking you as always to stay on course. Bye-bye.